Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the next official Dokkan Fest coming to the global side of the game. And I've heard a lot of speculation over the past couple days. Uh, people saying it's going to be Kale and Khalifla. People saying it's going to be the Trunks and Zamasu Duel Dokkan Fest. But no, as it turns out, it's going to be the STR Namek transforming Goku. And honestly, guys, I could not be happier about this. I feel like a Duel Dokkan Fest in the Trunks and Zamasu is just too soon after coming off the 300 million download celebration. And uh, I really need to save some stones. So this is very, very good. But on top of the fact that I don't have to go too hard, uh, I'm actually very excited for him. He's actually a really, really amazing unit and his animations look absolutely insane. We'll take a look at that at the end of this video. But uh, first, let's talk about this card itself and some of the other events that are coming too. So you guys probably saw from the title, we are also getting the legendary Goku event as well, which is basically the infinite Dragon Ball history event, but quite a bit harder. And uh, we'll also go into that detail or details for that. And uh, we'll also quickly talk about the other free to play unit that's coming too, which is the second form Frieza, who will also be getting an Extreme Z Awakening and an actual Extreme Z battle with it. So uh, lots of stuff to cover here, guys. But let's start with the STR transforming Goku. His name is Extreme Anger Goku, and he is a dual category lead for Super Saiyan and Planet Namek Saga. Key plus three. HP plus 130% and attack and defense plus 170% and his super attack is extreme spirit bomb causes immense damage and raises allies attacks by 30% for one turn and his passive is trembling force attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional attack and defense plus 15% with each attack received up to 59% and transform when conditions are met and the conditions are not too bad at all so all you have to do is uh, be below 79% HP and then starting from the third turn of the battle, and you can transform. And his links are Z Fighter, All in the Family, uh, Same Warrior Race, The Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Planet Namek Saga, Pure Saiyans, Transformation Boost, uh, Goku's Family, Super Saiyan, and Kamehameha. And I feel like I skipped over this real quick, but the Super Saiyan category is new for Global, and it is probably the most broken category in the entire game. It's it's between Super Saiyan and Kamehameha, and they do have a lot of the same units in them, but I think Super Saiyan still might have the edge. Maybe, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a absolutely crazy, crazy category, guys. Uh, we'll go into details about that in a second, too. Okay, so that's all the details for his uh, base form right there. And then once you transform into Super Saiyan Goku, here are the new details. So that's the new art, uh, card art right there. And his super attack is Kamehameha, raises defense and causes immense damage. And his passive is transformation at last. Attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional 59% attack after receiving an attack. And medium chance to guard all attacks. Guard activated against all attacks and high chance to perform a critical hit for 3 turns when guard is activated. So essentially the way it works is that um, after you receive an attack, you get the 59% additional attack. And then he has a medium chance to guard against attacks. And once that medium chance goes off, then for the next 3 turns, he has um, a high chance to perform a critical hit, hit and also has guard activated against all attacks for those 3 turns. It's a little bit complicated, a little bit confusing, but uh, hopefully I was able to uh, get the message across uh, appropriately. Anyways, okay, moving on from his passive now, he also has an active skill for an additional transformation, and uh, he goes into his enraged form from there, so uh, this can be activated when HP is 50% or below, starting from the 5th turn from the start of battle once only. So to get this final transformation, this final active skill off, is a little bit difficult, but uh, it's... <laughs> It's really good, once again. Okay, and his links uh, that change are Super Saiyan and Golden Warrior. And let's move on to the Enraged form now. So in his Enraged form, he has two different super attacks. The 8 to 11 key is Meteor Smash, which causes supreme damage. And the 12 key is Super Meteor Smash, which causes immense damage. And his passive is Explosion of Anger, which randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. And just like any other rage mode or giant form transformation, he basically gets god mode and takes no damage while in this state and has greatly boosted attack. But unfortunately, it only lasts for one turn. And then after that, I'm pretty sure he goes back to the regular Super Saiyan form, which is still very good. 
And there you go, guys. That is the transforming Namek Goku for you. Um, aside from the fact that he is a very, very solid, very good unit in his own right, he also happens to have some of the best animations in this entire game and also happens to lead possibly the best category in the entire game as well. And we'll take a look at both of those in just a second. But first, let's actually pop over to DBZ Space here and take a look at the banner that was on JP for him. And this is pretty much the only complaint I have about this celebration overall. Uh, I know a lot of people were not super jazzed about this banner, were not super excited about it because the featured units, aside from the new Goku himself, um, are not terribly exciting. And hopefully, fingers crossed, Bandai makes some changes and switches things up a little bit, but you never know. You never know, right? So uh, the JP banner included this new AGL Final Form Frieza, who is also very solid. And uh, we'll take a look at his, his details in just a minute. Um, but we have, of course, the STR Goku. We have this uh, AGL Transforming Goku and the Tech Transforming Frieza, both of which were recently just featured on the 300 million downloads banners. So that's why I have some hope that Bandai is going to make a switch and change those guys out. At least I hope. But it could also be the same banner. So don't get your hopes up too high, all right? Uh, and then we have the Angel Golden Frieza, who's still very, very good. He's personally rainbowed for me, but uh, I know people are still missing him, so I guess it'll be fine if he stays there. And we have the Angel Golden, uh, Angel Golden, uh, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and at this point, I feel like they need to stop featuring 120 leads. Um, on these new Dokkan FS banners. That's just me. I know that a lot of newer players still need them, but maybe have them on like a separate banner, right? Or, uh, you know, those Extreme Z battle banners, the Extreme Z Awakening banners have the 120 leads. So why don't we just keep featuring those guys on those banners for the newer players? And then for veteran players, you know, just stop including these guys, man. It's, it's just not terribly exciting at this point to pull a 120 lead when you're going for a new category lead. That's just my opinion, though. Anyways, um, we also have the Angel Golden... Or, I keep saying Angel, man. It's because we had two Angel units in a row, right? Uh, we have the Tech Golden Frieza, and he is actually amazing after his Extreme Z Awakening, but I don't believe we're getting the EZA with this celebration, so for now, he's still not terribly exciting either. And, um, of course, a lot of people will still probably have him rainbowed at this point, so... Yeah, I really hope if they're going to make some changes, take out this guy, take out take out this guy, uh, take out this guy, and take out this guy, and uh, give us tech hit, man. Where the F is tech hit? This guy has been gone from global for over nine months at this point, guys. Literally over nine months since his initial release. He has never come back. So if they put tech hit on this banner, then it's a definite summon. Definite, definite summon. But until then... The banner is a little bit iffy for sure. I think a lot of you guys probably already have most of these guys, if not a lot of them rainbowed. So uh, yeah, here's to hoping, fingers crossed, that some changes are made. And let's talk about this AGL Final Form Frieza now. So he is going to be the uh, non dogon Fest new unit for the Transforming Namek Goku banner. And his leader skill is Plan Namek Saga Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, or AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, Super Attack, I'll Destroy This Planet, causes supreme damage to all enemies with a medium chance to seal Super Attack. And uh, his passive is End of the Nightmare, Attack and Defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 70%, and high chance to stun the attacked enemy when facing only one enemy and key plus 5 and attack defense plus 50% when facing 2 or more enemies. Moving on, um, great passive right there, links our strongest clan in space, universe's most malevolent, prodigies, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, shocking speed, and fierce battle, and his categories are planet dynamic saga, transformation boost, and wicked bloodline. And that's pretty much all you need to know about this guy right here. Now let's pop over to the Super Saiyan category, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. It's so insane. Okay, so he's the leader. And for LRs, we have the AGL LR Gohan, we have the LR Go Bros, we have LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, Physical LR Trunks, we have Tech uh, LR Broly, <laughs> we have uh, for the URs a lot of other amazing units too, like this. Uh, well, I mean, this guy's not available yet on Global, but once he does become available, this Tech Transforming Trunks is great as well. Uh, let's see, who else is notable? Uh, oh, uh, I miss Gogeta. We have AGL Gogeta. We have the Transforming Namek Goku. 
Uh, we have the Super Vegito and the other Super Vegitos are uh, all going to be in here as well. Um, guys, just look at this freaking category, man. Look at this freaking category. Oh my god. Basically all Super Saiyan 1 units. Oh, we also have the uh, physical Broly as well. So basically all Super Saiyan 1 units in this game are going to be included in this category. And uh, yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. It consists of Super Saiyan 1 characters. Uh, yeah, if you have the right units, you can make a pretty freaking stack team. And uh, yeah, if for nothing else, man, I really want this guy just for the leader skill. I mean, also the animations. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so that was the category. Uh, pretty insane. And now we're on the Twitter page for the official, or the official Twitter page for Dokkan. It took a bit of digging to actually find this, but uh, it was totally worth it. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I I had almost forgotten just like how good those animations were and watching it again. Oh, I gotta have him. I gotta have this guy. He, he is a must, must summon. For me. For me. I'm not saying like everybody has to summon for him, but god damn. Look at those animations, man. Definitely the best in the game. I don't even care what anybody says. Best animation in the game, period. Uh, that was awesome. That was oh, he's so good. He, so sick, he's so sick. Anyways, uh, we gotta move on, we gotta move on. Um, man, I'm freaking out so much. Uh, dude, okay, so we have the Legendary Goku event also coming to Global, which is super exciting because uh, this is basically the hardest event in the game. It's harder, as far as I'm aware, than Super Battle Road in a lot of cases. And uh, it works very similar, actually, to the Infinite Dragon Ball History event we just got, except with only Gokus. So. As you can see, there's eight fights uh, in this entire event, and you can get uh, a lot of stones, actually. So down here, when you clear it seven times, you can get up to 35 stones, right? Five stones each time, and also up to five tickets uh, per clear for this uh, other Goku banner that basically has all Gokus, right? So it's a, like a event exclusive or special event banner where... Um, it has all Gokus, but it also has the LR Gokus in there as well, or actually just, I think it's just LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But yeah, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is unfeatured in that pool, so in theory, with these tickets, you could pull yourself an LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and uh, that actually happened to me on JP, so it's definitely possible, guys. Definitely possible. So uh, as far as the enemies go, we have 8 Gokus, Base Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, UI Goku, and then Mastered UI Goku, and it does get progressively harder with every stage, and... Uh, as far as I've been told, guys, this is significantly harder than the Legendary Goku event, so definitely prepare yourselves. And uh, let's see, so this guy has a 10% chance to evade attacks, and this guy disables all allies' evasion skills and has a 20% chance to evade. So basically, not only does he make it impossible for your units to evade, he also has a 20% chance to evade your attacks. So uh, yeah, he's super annoying. And that is the event, guys. Uh, I might make a separate video just talking about some tactics and stuff like that once it uh, actually comes out, or maybe just before it comes out, but very excited for this one. Very, very excited for this event. And next up, the last thing I think we'll talk about is this uh, physical Frieza. 
who is a free-to-play farmable unit and will be coming with the update as well. And uh, he is quite, quite good for a free-to-play unit. So he does get an EZA, and the EZA is also going to be a regular EZA where you get, the, I believe, 30 stones for clearing the first, clearing the first 30 levels and um, all that good stuff, right? So that's great. Not an extreme Z area like we just got for the... Uh, Goku and Gohan and also Vegeta and Trunks. This guy I believe does get a regular um, Extreme Z battle event and his uh, Details post Extreme Z Awakening. His leader skill is transformation boost category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or physical types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50% and his super attack is death storm extreme which greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mass damage to all enemies and his passive is power level over 1 million attack and defense plus 60% plus an additional key plus 6 and attack and defense plus 40% when facing two or more enemies plus an additional attack plus 60% when the target enemy is in defense down status and he does have an active skill which is called pleasurable Frieza time best name in the game, causes supreme damage to enemy, and greatly lowers attack and defense, can be activated when facing three or more enemies, starting from the third turn from the start of battle once only. And anything else? Okay, Lynx. Brutal Beatdown, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Prodigies, Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, and Shattering the Limit, and his categories are Transformation Boost, Planet Namek Saga, and Wicked Bloodline. And Another bit of information that may be very interesting to you guys is that his additional 60% attack is calculated separately for a total boost of 156% attack when facing only one enemy, an attack plus 220% when facing two or more enemies when the target enemy is in defense down status. So that boost can get quite, quite insane and he actually does quite a bit of damage for a free to play unit. And uh, he's just great. He's just awesome. Let's actually take a quick look at the, uh, what do you call it, the Extreme Z battle here, just to be sure it's a regular Extreme Z battle. And it is. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, every single clear for the first level is, or, you know, first time clear for each level up to level 30 is one Dragonstone. You get the, the medals, and you also get the Kais, you get the orbs, and all that regular stuff for Extreme Z battles. And uh, Namekians is the damage boosted category here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure any solid or decent super STR team should take care of this no problem. So uh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it shouldn't be too hard. So that is the entire celebration guys, uh, the Frieza, the Legendary Goku event, the animations, the new category, the uh, AGL Final Form Frieza, the banner, potentially, hopefully there's some changes, and uh, the Goku himself. And that's all I got to talk about in today's video, guys. I'm actually quite excited about this one. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it, whether you're summoning for him or are you skipping. And uh, if you're skipping, then which celebration are you actually looking forward to? Is it the Killing Khalifla? Is it the Trunks and Goku? Or Trunks and Zamasu? Is it the uh, Physical Piccolo? Or is there something else that you want instead of all those things? Let me know in the comments down below. And I look forward to reading your comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.